Guys, so this is the Insta360 X3. It's a 360-degree camera. Um, I actually put on the lens guard already, but as you can see from a bike, from a dirt bike accident, I actually did not have the lens on, and I scratched the heck out of it. And my warranty already already expired. If you guys do rec if you guys do buy the camera, I would always get. I was I recommend getting the the two year um, plan instead of the one year plan because. If you're gonna break it or if you don't have a lens protection it's gonna suck and you you, you know you're gonna pay out of pocket i did schedule a um appointment with them but i just have to you know wait I actually have to turn it in and then see how much it costs for a diagnosis and yada yada but this camera weighs uh 6.3 6.3 grams like three ounces i mean three 6.3 ounces the x2 which i have right here is uh eight uh five ounces so it's like a, a one 1 1.3 ounces more um the resolution is 5.6k 30 fps and then single lens is 4k with 30 fps so i'm gonna turn this bad boy on for you guys to see water resistance is uh a little bit better too this is actually 33 feet but remember like like what i said before too if you um if you get refurbished or get it fixed that that water resistance isn't there anymore so just fy uh, and the and the cool thing about this is the storage uh, for the micro S sd card is one terabyte so you can put one terabyte of micro sd in this bad boy but yeah and then this is what i use for the um the cover it's called magazin i'll link at the very bottom of this of the video but it's also right here i also have the screen protector too for it uh, let's go back. Let's see. There it goes. Not really focusing. Let's go back to here. Ooh, how to get out of here? It's been awesome. So there's manual. There's auto. I'm gonna go back. This I'm at 5.6 resolution. Has 4K. Has 3K. But I normally just put on the highest settings because when I put download to Instagram or yada yada, it's way better to um, have it at the highest resolution. And then you can click here. Let's see, let's, let's go scroll out. Let's go back this way. Oh, video. So you could do 360 lens, you could do single lens, you could do camera mode. So that's outside. This is single lens at 2.7. You just gotta play around with it like 4k with single lens 30 frames per second I'm gonna scroll down again a little bit better quality if you're like vlogging or you know doing whatever's uh but yeah this is the camera i'm gonna turn so basically turn it off try again i want to show you guys the battery too and where uh, the battery's a little different i think it's a, a little bit more memory or more um more battery life, but this is where the SIM card is at. I'm using 256 right now, 256 gigabytes. Um, Sandus Extreme Pro for my shots. And then I'm gonna put this bad boy in. I'm just looking by the camera, so push it back in like this. Ta da! Right here. And then the cool thing about this is you pop this open. There's your thing. And if you guys did want to record, you just basically hold, push this one time, and it, sh it should start recording. But I have no memory card in this, so I'm not even sure if it's going to record. Oh, it is recording. Oh, so see, no, no memory card, so it doesn't record at all. But yeah, so push it once to record, push it again to start recording, it'll shut down automatically. Oh, I'm out of battery, actually. It's kind of weird. I'll turn it back on. Let's see, Let's see if I'm bad battery. Huh, I guess I am at a battery after I took it out. But yeah, this is the Insta360 X3. The It's more user-friendly um, than the X2. The screen is bigger. You can touch it. It's a pretty awesome camera. So if you guys do like the video, please like and subscribe. And all the all the stuff for like the lens guard and then the, the Insta360 uh, invisible stick will be at the very bottom of the video. Thank you again for watching. Thanks, guys. Bye.